In this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, the beta uh, Gingerbread 2.3 firmware that's been uh, dumped from the Xperia Arc. Uh, just a warning, this ROM does not have sound yet, so you can't actually make calls because there's no sound. Um, there's a bunch of other things that don't work, so this is only for testing, it's not for everyday use. Um, if you have had trouble doing things with X Recovery or BusyBox or rooting, do not even attempt this because I'm not going to answer basic questions. Uh, this ROM, again, is not for everyday use. It's only for testing and playing around with. Um, so working, network works, data works, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS work. The camera doesn't work, and again, sound does not work. So this is the thread. It'll be linked in the description. Okay, so to start off, you should be running uh, 2.1.1 and you should be running the baseband that's 49. That's the one that works. If you're using another baseband, uh, you should flash a different firmware to get baseband 49 or else you might have issues. Uh, your phone has to be rooted, so super user has to be working, busy box has to be working, and X recovery has to be working. Busy box. So I've already done this, but what you're going to do is in this, in the file, download the zip file for the ROM. If your phone originally came with 1.6, then you're using the X10 phone. If your phone uh, came out directly with 2.1, then you're using the X10 HD. So download the zip file and then copy it over to the SD card. So mount, uh, mount your phone and then copy over to the SD card. I'm just going to uh, pull the battery and restart the phone. When the Sony Ericsson logo comes up, start hitting the back button until you get the X recovery menu. So here's X recovery. So what you have to do first is wipe the phone. So go to factory reset, full wipe, delete everything. So it's formatting data, cache. Next, uh, go into install custom zip, choose from SD card, and I've already copied it here, it's right there, the trip, uh, you can't see it, but trip Sony Xperia Arc, and install, yes, it's going to take about uh, two minutes to install the ROM, as it formats everything and installs all the files. Again, this firmware is not for everyday use. It's only for testing and playing around with. Make sure you back up all your data before trying this. Okay, once that's complete, just reboot your phone. The first time it starts up, you're going to get a bunch of force closes and errors, so just uh, ignore them. So once you've got into the uh, home screen, open up the menu, uh, ignore all the force closes, go into the second screen, go into dev tools, go into bad behavior, and then choose crash the system server. When you click on that, it's going to take about a minute, it's going to restart, and that'll get rid of all the errors. And once it's restarted, I'm just going to walk through all the different things. So that's the home screen. Uh, five home screens, media, messaging, 
uh, it's automatically detected the network so data does work uh, phone book uh, the phone again the phone doesn't there's no sound so you can't can't make calls go into settings wireless and networks Wi-Fi does work oh it doesn't huh. I'll have to restart but Wi-Fi should work uh, Bluetooth should work you can, there's tethering built in call settings additional settings it's just pulling things like call waiting and caller ID sound doesn't work yet So there's different uh, sliders for sound, media, and alarm. You can change your ringtone. Go back into settings. Display, auto rotation, brightness, animations, timeout, location and security. Counts and syncing, applications, privacy, language and keyboards. And I'm just going to go through a bunch of the apps. Again, there's messaging, Timescape, the gallery. Right now, there's no photos. The clock. Alarm. Uh, Google Maps. Use GPS. So GPS does work. Okay. Don't want to show my location calendar gmail google talk latitude sync the calculator youtube so youtube does work let's just pull up uh, angry birds birthday cake There's no sound. News and weather, dev tools, voice search, super user, voice dialer, camera doesn't work. And that's it. So that's a short walkthrough of the Xperia Arcs firmware ported to work with the X10. Um, not all the functionality is there yet and uh, Trip will be working on it. Hopefully he'll get it, more of it working in the next few days.